This video will introduce how to use dual pressure gauges and compressors to complete the replacement or filling of automobile air conditioning refrigerants. Mainly introduces operations such as suppression, checking for leaks in the air conditioning system, vacuuming, and filling of refrigerant. Let's assemble the pressure gauge first. Step 1. Install the hook to hang it on the car when it is convenient to use. The second step, take over, this time use a 1.5 amp pipe. Connect the pressure gauge straight, the blue low pressure gauge to the blue pipe, the red high pressure gauge to the red pipe, the middling direct yellow pipe. Be sure to check if the gasket is in, the lack of gaskets will cause air leakage. Tighten all pipes. The third step, install the car connection and connector, the blue is connected to the blue, the red is connected to the red, and the middle yellow tube. Because it needs to be filled with refrigerant, connect the bottle opener. There are also two accessories. This is a filter, which is installed on the vacuum port to prevent impurities from entering the machine. This is a pressure relief valve with vents on the side. In order to protect the filling pipe and the pressure gauge, the factory setting pressure is 22 bar. We use this compressor for demonstration. Install a pressure relief valve on the pressure side, install a filter on the vacuum port, and the installation is complete. Let's find a car for demonstration. First hang the watch on the front hood of the car. Step 1. Turn off the dual pressure gauge switch, clockwise to close, counterclockwise to open. The second step is to adjust the inner thimble of the knob on the side of the car installation, and turn it counterclockwise to retract the thimble. Step 3. Find the high and low pressure interface on the car. Generally, the thin tube of the vehicle is a high pressure tube, the thick tube is a low pressure tube, the thin tube is connected to the red joint, and the thick tube is connected to the blue joint.
After connecting, turn the connector switch clockwise to make the thimble open the interface, and then let's check the pressure gauge. When the vehicle is turned off, the pressure of the air conditioning system is too high. If you look at the dial, the high and low pressures are both 6 bar. In the first step, we must discharge all the refrigerants so that only environmentally approved refrigerants can be directly discharged into the atmosphere. Only need to turn on the low pressure switch to release the air. After the low pressure side is discharged, the high pressure side will automatically release the pressure. The flow of refrigerant can be seen through this observation port. After all the refrigerant is released, tighten the low pressure gauge and high pressure gauge. Next, we use this yellow tube to suppress. When pressing and vacuuming, both ports need to be opened at the same time, and the yellow tube is installed to the air pump. Turn on the red meter switch, turn off the blue meter switch, and turn on the compressor. The pressure of the red gauge is gradually increased, and the pressure is increased to 10 to 15 bar. After the pressure reaches the requirement, first tighten the high pressure gauge, and then turn off the machine. Wait for 10 to 60 minutes. If the pressure does not drop, it proves that there is no leakage in the air conditioning system.
let go of the compressed air and perform a vacuum operation before adding refrigerant. Next, we will perform a vacuum operation. During the vacuum operation, both pressure gauges need to be opened, and the yellow tube is installed on the vacuum port of the machine. By observing the value of the pressure gauge, the pressure will be below zero after vacuuming. The vacuuming time is generally 5 to 10 minutes for a car and 10 to 20 minutes for a truck. After vacuuming for 10 minutes, the pressure gauges on both sides of the high and low pressure are below zero, we can end the vacuum operation. First, tighten the switches of the two pressure gauges, and then turn off the machine. The next step is to fill the refrigerant in the flame out state. This time, use the small bottle of refrigerant. If you use the filling refrigerant, the operation method is the same. For the small bottle of refrigerant, first turn the knob clockwise to pierce the body of the refrigerant bottle, and then retract the needle in the reverse direction. Use the exhaust valve on the meter to discharge the air in the pipe, and add refrigerant only to the low pressure side. Invert the filling bottle to allow the liquid to fully enter the pipe. After filling, close the knob, start the vehicle, turn on the compressor, and turn on the air conditioner to the maximum mode to let the air conditioning system operate.
After the air conditioning system is running, check the pressure on the pressure gauge. If it is not satisfied, you can continue to refill. At this time, the vehicle compressor is running. When filling the second bottle, it is recommended that the bottle body be in an upright state to prevent the liquid from directly flowing into the low pressure side. The video is quantitatively added, so it is filled upside down. If you use a large bottle for filling, the compressor is running and the compressor is running. Wait for the pressure on the low pressure side to reach 2.5 bar, and for the pressure on the high pressure side to reach 9-10 bar, the refrigerant addition is complete. After the refrigerant is added, first turn off the pressure gauge switch, turn off the flame, and then loosen and unplug the tail of the adjustable joint, which completes the entire process of refrigerant charging for the air conditioning system.